Radiochemistry is the chemistry of radioactive materials, where radioactive isotopes of elements are used to study the properties and chemical reactions of non radioactive isotopes. Often within radiochemistry, the absence of radioactivity leads to a substance being described as being inactive as the isotopes are stable. Much of radiochemistry deals with the use of radioactivity to study ordinary chemical reactions. This is very different from radiation chemistry where the radiation levels are kept too low to influence the chemistry. Radiochemistry includes the study of both natural and man-made radioisotopes. Topic: <laughs> Main decay modes. All radioisotopes are unstable isotopes of elements. Undergo nuclear decay and emit some form of radiation. The radiation emitted can be of several types including alpha, beta, gamma radiation, proton and neutron emission along with neutrino and antiparticle emission decay pathways. 1. Alpha, alpha radiation — the emission of an alpha particle which contains two protons and two neutrons from an atomic nucleus. When this occurs, the atom's atomic mass will decrease by four units and atomic number will decrease by two. 2. Beta, beta radiation the transmutation of a neutron into an electron and a proton. After this happens, the electron is emitted from the nucleus into the electron cloud. 3. Gamma, gamma radiation — the emission of electromagnetic energy such as gamma rays from the nucleus of an atom. This usually occurs during alpha or beta radioactive decay. These three types of radiation can be distinguished by their difference in penetrating power. Alpha can be stopped quite easily by a few centimeters in air or a piece of paper and is equivalent to a helium nucleus. Beta can be cut off by an aluminium sheet just a few millimeters thick and are electrons. Gamma is the most penetrating of the three and is a massless chargeless high-energy photon. Gamma radiation requires an appreciable amount of heavy metal radiation shielding usually lead or barium -based to reduce its intensity. Activation analysis By neutron irradiation of objects it is possible to induce radioactivity, this activation of stable isotopes to create radioisotopes is the basis of neutron activation analysis. One of the most interesting objects which has been studied in this way is the hair of Napoleon's head, which have been examined for their arsenic content. A series of different experimental methods exist, these have been designed to enable the measurement of a range of different elements in different matrices. To reduce the effect of the matrix, it is common to use the chemical extraction of the wanted element and or to allow the radioactivity due to the matrix elements to decay before the measurement of the radioactivity. Since the matrix effect can be corrected for by observing the decay spectrum, little or no sample preparation is required for some samples, making neutron activation analysis less susceptible to contamination. The effects of a series of different cooling times can be seen if a hypothetical sample which contains sodium, uranium and cobalt in a 100, 10 to 1 ratio was subjected to a very short pulse of thermal neutrons. The initial radioactivity would be dominated by the 24 Na activity half-life 15 H but with increasing time the 239 Na half-life 2.4 D after formation from parent 239 U with half-life 24 minutes and finally the 60 Co activity 5.3 years would predominate. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biology applications. One biological application is the study of DNA using radioactive phosphorus-32. In these experiments stable phosphorus is replaced by the chemical identical radioactive P32, and the resulting radioactivity is used in analysis of the molecules and their behavior. Another example is the work which was done on the methylation of elements such as sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium by living organisms. It has been shown that bacteria can convert these elements into volatile compounds. It is thought that methylcobalamin vitamin B12 alkylates these elements to create the dimethyls. It has been shown that a combination of cobaloxime and inorganic polonium in sterile water forms a volatile polonium compound, while a control experiment which did not contain the cobalt compound did not form the volatile polonium compound. For the sulfur work the isotope 35S was used, while for polonium 207 PO was used. 
In some related work by the addition of 57 Co to the bacterial culture, followed by isolation of the cobalamin from the bacteria and the measurement of the radioactivity of the isolated cobalamin, it was shown that the bacteria convert available cobalt into methylcobalamin. In medicine PET positron emission tomography scans are commonly used in diagnostic purposes in a radiative tracer is injected intravenously into the patient and then taken to the PET machine. The radioactive tracer releases radiation outward from the patient and the cameras in the machine interpret the radiation rays from the tracer. PET scan machines use solid state scintillation detection because of its high detection efficiency. Ni TL crystals absorb the tracer's radiation and produce photons that get converted into an electrical signal for the machine to analyze. Environmental Radiochemistry also includes the study of the behavior of radioisotopes in the environment, for instance, a forest or grass fire can make radioisotopes become mobile again. In these experiments, fires were started in the exclusion zone around Chernobyl and the radioactivity in the air downwind was measured. It is important to note that a vast number of processes are able to release radioactivity into the environment, for example the action of cosmic rays on the air is responsible for the formation of radioisotopes such as 14C and 32P, the decay of 226 Ra forms 222RN which is a gas which can diffuse through rocks before entering buildings and dissolve in water and thus enter drinking water in addition human activities such as bomb tests, accidents, and normal releases from industry have resulted in the release of radioactivity. <laughs> Chemical form of the actinides The environmental chemistry of some radioactive elements such as plutonium is complicated by the fact that solutions of this element can undergo disproportionation and as a result many different oxidation states can coexist at once. Some work has been done on the identification of the oxidation state and coordination number of plutonium and the other actinides under different conditions. Two, this includes work on both solutions of relatively simple complexes and work on colloids. Two of the key matrices are soil, rocks, and concrete. In these systems, the chemical properties of plutonium have been studied using methods such as EXAFS and XANES. Three, four. Topic. Movement of colloids While binding of a metal to the surfaces of the soil particles can prevent its movement through a layer of soil, it is possible for the particles of soil which bear the radioactive metal can migrate as colloidal particles through soil. This has been shown to occur using soil particles labeled with 134 Cs, these have been shown to be able to move through cracks in the soil. Normal background Radioactivity is present everywhere and has been since the formation of the Earth. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, one kilogram of soil typically contains the following amounts of the following three natural radioisotopes 370 becquerels 40 K typical range 100 to 700 becquerels, 25 becquerels 226 Ra typical range 10 to 50 becquerels, 25 becquerels 238 U typical range 10 to 50 becquerels and 25 becquerels 232 Th typical range 7 to 50 becquerels. Action of microorganisms The action of microorganisms can fix uranium, thermoenerobacter can use chromium v, iron 3, cobalt 3, manganese IV, and uranium v as electron acceptors while acetate, glucose, hydrogen, lactate, pyruvate, succinate, and xylose can act as electron donors for the metabolism of the bacteria. In this way the metals can be reduced to form magnetite, siderite iron 2 carbonate, rhodochrosite manganese 2 carbonate, and uraninite UO2. Other researchers have also worked on the fixing of uranium using bacteria 5 6 7. Francis R. Livens et al. working at Manchester have suggested that the reason why geobacter sulfuridusins can reduce UO2 plus 2 cations to uranium dioxide is that the bacteria reduce the uranyl cations to UO plus 2 which then undergoes disproportionation to form UO2 plus 2 and UO2. 
This reasoning was based at least in part on the observation that NPO plus 2 is not converted to an insoluble neptunium oxide by the bacteria. Education Despite the growing use of nuclear medicine, the potential expansion of nuclear power plants, and worries about protection against nuclear threats and the management of the nuclear waste generated in past decades, the number of students opting to specialize in nuclear and radiochemistry has decreased significantly over the past few decades. Now, with many experts in these fields approaching retirement age, action is needed to avoid a workforce gap in these critical fields, for example by building student interest in these careers, expanding the educational capacity of universities and colleges, and providing more specific on the job training. Nuclear and radiochemistry is mostly being taught at university level, usually first at the master and PhD degree level. In Europe, as substantial effort is being done to harmonize and prepare the NRC education for the industries and society's future needs. This effort is being coordinated in a project funded by the Coordinated Action supported by the European Atomic Energy Community's Seventh Framework Program, the CINCH II project, Cooperation in Education and Training in Nuclear Chemistry. This project has set up a wiki dedicated to NRC teaching, NUQUIC. Although NUQUIC is primarily aimed at teachers, anyone interested in nuclear and radiochemistry is welcome and can find a lot of information and material explaining topics related to NRC. <laughs> <laughs> 